a reading from the first book of Kings. Elijah said to Ahab, Get up, eat and drink, for there is the sound of a heavy rain. So Ahab went up to eat and drink, while Elijah climbed to the top of Carmel, crouched down to the earth, and put his head between his knees. Climb up and look out to sea, he directed his servants, who went up and looked, was reported, there is nothing. Seven times he said, go, look again. And the seventh time, the youth reported, there is a cloud as small as a man's hand rising from the sea. Elijah said, go and say to Ahab, harness up and leave the mountain before the rain stops you. In a trice, the sky grew dark with clouds and wind, and a heavy rain fell. Ahab mounted his chariot and made for Jezreel. But the hand of the Lord was on Elijah, who guarded up his clothing and ran before Ahab so far as the approaches to Jezreel. The word of the Lord. It is right to praise you in Zion, O God. It is right to praise you in Zion, O God. You have visited the land and watered it. Greatly have you enriched it. God's water courses are filled. You have prepared the grain. It is right to praise you in Zion, O God. Thus you have prepared the land, drenching its furrows, breaking up its clods, softening it with showers, blessing its yield. It is right to praise you in Zion, O God. You have crowned the year with your bounty, and your paths overflow with a rich harvest. The untilled meadow overflows with it, and rejoicing closes the hills. It is right to praise you in Zion, O oh God. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, I give you a new commandment, love one another as I have loved you. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory, Glory be to, to you, O Lord. Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, I tell you, unless your righteousness surpasses that of the scribes and Pharisees, you will not enter into the kingdom of heaven. You have heard that it was said to your ancestors, you shall not kill, and whoever kills will be liable to judgment. But I say to you, whoever is angry with his brother will be liable to judgment, and whoever says to his brother, Raka, will be answerable to the Sahindrin, and whoever says, you fool, 
will be liable to ferry Gehenna. Therefore, if you bring your gift to the altar and there recall that your brother has anything against you, leave your gift there at the altar, go first and be reconciled with your brother, and then come and offer your gift. Settle with your opponent quickly while on the way to court with him. Otherwise, your opponent will hand you over to the judge, and the judge will hand you over to the guard, and you'll be thrown into prison. Amen, I say to you, you will not be released until you are paid the last penny. Brothers and sisters, the gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. So yesterday, in our first reading, Elijah defeated the prophets of Baal in the contest to invoke which groups God to send down fire. And Elijah demonstrated beyond doubt that there is only one God, and he is the God of Israel, and that the Baals were no gods. And to cement the victory of Elijah demonstrating the power of this God, the rains come down. After three years of drought, the Baals were known to be gods of rain, the gods of the storm, and everything like that. But when they were invoked, they could not respond. They could not respond. It demonstrated to the people of Israel that these gods that they were following, these gods that because of Jezebel they had come to know, they really did not exist. And they had no power to affect humans' existence and to affect our lives to the point that we need to invoke them. We need to call upon them. We need to make sacrifices to them and worship them. And another thing that comes to us in today's first reading to demonstrate further God's power manifesting in the life of his prophet is the fact that Ahab is asked by Elijah to go ahead because the rains are about to come down in his chariots with horses. And yet Elijah runs on foot and gets there before him gets to the destination before him. How is Elijah able to do that? Is he Usain Bolt who can run 100 meters in seconds? It is the power of God that is at work. And that is what happens to those who trust in God. That is what happens to those who put their, their hope in him. They depend on him and they give their all to him. That is what happens to them. The Bible says they will run and they will not be tired. So my dear brothers and sisters, the stories we are reading about this week concerning Elijah and very soon we'll be reading about concerning his successor, Elisha, are inviting us to put our trust in God. Sometimes it appears like the clouds in the reading, that nothing is happening. When Elijah sent his servant to go and look whether the clouds have appeared, he came back and said, nothing is happening. Until the seventh time, and all he said is, I see a cloud as big as the human hand, and it was enough for God to send down rain. So my dear brothers and sisters, this is what we are being called upon to do, to trust in him. Sometimes it may seem to delay in responding to our prayer request and responding to our needs, but it doesn't mean he has abandoned us. It doesn't mean he has forgotten us. If we remain faithful, if we keep trusting, we will see his hand 
working mightily in our lives. Let us rise and present our prayers before our God, who is always faithful. Our response will be, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. prayer. For our Holy Father, our bishops and priests, that they may preach and teach the gospel with the same clarity as the Lord Jesus did when he walked among us. We pray to the Lord. Lord, in your, your mercy, hear our, our prayer. For healing of the anger and tendency to judge that sets religions and nations against each other. For an anointing of forgiveness so that there may be peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For a spirit of confidence and powerful prayer, such as Elijah offered, so that the blessing of new growth may be given to lives that are parched and weary. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord in your mercy, hear our prayer. For those who are sick, bereaved, or suffering from war and natural disasters, that an abundant rainfall of grace, healing, and mercy may fall upon them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For our beloved dead, that our lady may for them, for our beloved dead, that our lady may be for them the merciful sign of a little cloud, an open invitation into the kingdom that is drenched with God's loving welcome. We pray to the Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let us pray in silence for our personal intentions. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. God our Father, hear the prayers of your children who have gathered before you this morning, and grant to us all that we ask for in faith, for we pray through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. 